Hey guys, Harris here, and over eight years ago, Apple released the iPod Touch first generation. And although fundamentally very similar to the current generation of iPod Touch, a lot has changed over that product line. So today, let's take a look back in history at the start of a line that sold over 100 million units. Apple has always had nice packaging for the products, but they really used to go the extra mile. The packaging came in gray and black boxes with John Lennon, Macy Gray, or Corinne Bailey Ray featured up on the front. Under the lid lies the iPod, then a standard black packet with a colorful quick start brochure where Apple showcases all of the iPod's standout features. Also included was a black microfiber cleaning cloth. Under the literature rest the accessories, a dock adapter, the famous white earphones, and a 30 pin charging cable. The iPod itself featured the mirror of a back that was retained all the way through the fourth generation. It is and was quite prone to fingerprints and scratches, as very evident on mine here. The Apple logo on the center and the iPod branding on the bottom provided a staple for future designs, while the black antenna bar on the top corner remained for every generation outside of the fourth gen. And the rest of the iPod was about as simple as you could get. The 30 pin port and headphone jack on the bottom, and then the power button up top surrounded the device. No cameras, no volume buttons, no speaker. Well, except for some alerts. The screen is a 3.5 inch 480 by 320 display at 163 pixels per inch, exactly half the density of the modern Retina display. Under the hood is a 412 megahertz ARM chip with 128 megabytes of RAM, or one eighth of the RAM in the sixth generation. The battery is 580 milliamp hours, also about half of the sixth gen's battery capacity. It has Wi-Fi capabilities, but no Bluetooth. But the most interesting part of this, in my opinion, is the software. The most recent build for this iPod is iOS 3.1.3. It came with your typical apps, Safari, Calendar, Mail, Contacts, YouTube, Stocks, Maps, Weather, Clock, Calculator, Notes, Settings, App Store, Music, Videos, Photos, and iTunes. The YouTube app is awesome, but doesn't work. The App Store is a lot of apps but virtually none compatible with iOS 3. I do still have some classics installed from back in the day, such as Bubble Pop and Fruit Ninja. I love those games. You can double tap the home button to launch the music app. You can change the lock screen wallpaper with one of your own saved images from the web or a screenshot or one of the preset wallpapers. And you can organize your home screen, you can slowly browse the web, and of course you can listen to music or watch videos. It's crazy to think of an iPod touch without a speaker or heck even without volume buttons, but at the time, it was also a little crazy to think of an iPod with a touchscreen and a web browser and, eventually, an app store. So that's the first gen iPod Touch. Released in 2008, it came in 8 and 16 gigabyte models, and the only color was black. I hope you guys enjoyed this look back in history, and if you did, make sure to give this video a like, and thank you very much for watching.